All right, and welcome back, citizens. One and all, welcome back to more Coral Island. We're gonna talk my favorite way to set up crop plots currently, and I like to set up crop plots to match the size of the tier two sprinkler. So that would be a five by five setup, and then I'll use the ordinary scarecrow, which is a seventeen by seventeen coverage, and then. We would build a stone path around the outside of it, outside of the coverage zone. The stone path being 18 by 18 and everything else being 17 by 17. So what I'd like to do is just plop the sprinkler down and kind of highlight it here. You can. Oh, that's called it. No, you can put stone right under it either. So I like to plop the sprinkler down initially. I can oh. kind of watch where it goes. I'd put my line right here. Then doing one of those kind of lines it up for the rest. So I would close this in. Over here and break this and typically just need to do it one more time to make sure we are good to go path would be right there again it's already lined up from the top so alternatively i could have literally just probably drug these lines down and lined it up by eye but we were just kind of showing showing off the sprinkler And that is how I like to set up my farm currently. Obviously, we don't have all the sprinklers to cover this, and I hope to get there eventually, but for now, we're just running a few. Excuse me, I still haven't determined what to do with the middle plot. I'm kind of tempted to come back through here and put, like, things I would use, like mason jars, etc., around each scarecrow. Just wouldn't make the most sense. But you can see here, we doubled up this path on purpose to kind of give some unique separation. We can always collapse this and make it smaller if we felt the need to. But I like this design, I like this setup, and this is how we set up our farm currently in Coral Island. Hope you enjoy. Please do like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Take care.